Hey guys, back for another draft. Gonna jump into a cube here. Uh, decided to. Do, I'm doing a Swiss cube just in case uh, we lose. Get you guys get to see uh, see three, three drafts. Um, well, this pack's pretty underwhelming to be honest. Like, the only card I really like is Underground Sea, but uh, Mono Red, especially in these power cubes, a lot of people seem to ignore Mono Red, and. Uh, I think we can try to draft a sick mono red deck, and Sulfuric Vortex is the number one reason to go mono red. So I'm gonna go right ahead and take it. Now, there's some good cards in this pack, like Tangle Wire is insane in mono red. Mistress Factor is good. Um, Maloku is a good win con. Watery Grave is a good good land. But yeah, Tangle Wire in a nice aggro deck is, is insane. So I'm going to go ahead and take Tangle Wire. Maybe we get this Mishish Factory back. Hopefully Mono Red isn't cut off. Alright, well that's a good Mono Red card. Uh, and Ball Lightning will probably wheel. Um, wheel of Fortune is really good too in a red deck. There's, I mean, there's going to be good cards in every pack, right? But China Brain Rage... I'm, I'm fine just doing this mono red plan. Hopefully, hopefully red isn't cut off. All right, well that's that's a great mo that's a great red card. Uh, chart of the face, always good. Some good lands in this pack. Sun Titan's good. Jay Sling Green Souls, but yeah, charm to the face. Alright, um, I mean Rashad and Port is actually pretty good, like I don't know if I want Grim Lavamancer, I mean Grim Lavamancer could be a good threat, but uh, Rashad and Port is actually pretty good to just keep lands tapped down, and we could just be that annoying burn deck, I mean might not even need a whole bunch of creatures. All right. Um, okay, so Firestorm doesn't look like a card that we want. Uh, this isn't what we want. See, uh, maybe Mono Red is be getting cut off, or the packs are just Mono Red Light. Um, I don't really see us playing as Ellis Conscripts, but I think I'm just gonna take it. We might side it in. All right, and there's this pack. I'll just take the Marsh Flats uh, in case we get any red dual lands uh, that have black or white in them. Marsh Flats will help. Every cube draft I've watched since the Holiday Cubes come out, uh, Mono Red's been open like crazy, so well, maybe somebody else has the same idea as me. Alright, well, uh, Reckless Charge can actually be good. Quite good, actually. But uh, Falconrath Aristocrat can also be very good. And we already have a, a fetch line that can get, get black. That uh, I, I think I'm okay taking it here. Maybe go like black, black, red. Um, yeah, I mean, Mesmeric Fiend is fine to get cards out of their hand. It's not necessarily a good aggro card or a burn card, but I think I'm okay taking it. I want to try to stay as red as heavy as possible, so I'll just take the fiend. Don't really want the hypnotic specter. It is double black. Um, I don't know. Like we could go black red aggro, take the diagraph ghoul, but I think I'm gonna take the factory. We've got the ball lightning back. Definitely some guys cradle deck going around. That's pretty sweet. Alright, Wolf Software Springs, perfect example of a card I want. Uh, Smash the Smithereens is actually, uh, I'm just gonna hide, ooh, we got Inquisition. Probably not gonna play it, but you never know. 
especially the smithereens is actually like a main deck card to be honest like there's so many good artifacts in this set and it's just three to the face I'll try to try to get as many one drops as we can as much burn Some more man lands. All right. Well, this pack has incinerate, which is fine. Maybe we'll get this firebolt back. We could take the fetch land if we wanted to, but I want to just try to take as much red burn as we can. we want devil's play devil's play is like sure it's a burn spell but it's not really what i want i mean we could definitely go into black and take this vamp tutor like vamp tutor is really really good i just don't like i really don't like vamp tutor unless you're combo because you're like pretty much nega card when you play it but it's so good yeah you know what this card can find uh our sulfuric vortex so i'm gonna take vamp tutor Alright, well, there's some good cards in this pack, but uh, Stoneblood Berserker it is. Oh, there's Strip Mine. Yeah, I'm taking Strip Mine. I can't pass up a Strip Mine. Just Rashad and Port them, Strip Mine them, Tangle Wire them. Oh, this deck's going to be annoying as shit to play against. Um, yeah, Stoneblood Berserker might even come back. I'd play Inferno Titan. Yeah, Strip Mine. That's awesome. Ooh. Fire Blast is really good, but so is Hellrider. Uh, there's enough in this pack that we might get one of these red cards back. But Fire Blast, I think, is what our deck wants. More than Hellrider. We're not even that creature heavy. Yeah, I'll take Fire Blast for now. Alright, and we got Badlands. That's awesome. That is sick with our Marsh Flats. A Johnny Vengeance Slaughter Pack. Some good cards in here. But yeah, Badlands is a great pick up there. Oh, <laughs> oh do we play uh, Winter Orb? I mean, Win Winter Orb and Land Denial is better when you're like actually playing creatures. But out of all these cards, Winter Orb has the highest upside, I think. I could take the Mox Diamond to Accelerate. I don't know, Mox Diamond might be the way we want to go. I'll take the Mox Diamond. Alright, Chain Lightning. I mean, is it better than Figure though? No, I'll just take Chain Lightning. It could be correct to just take Creatures, but... I like this so far. Probably not going to play like Inquisition or Numeric Fiend. I'll play the Vamp Tutor though. I mean, if, if they don't have Enchantment Removal for self Dark Vortex, it can just win the game. And they can't even gain life either. It's just so good. I'd like to find a wasteland. A wasteland would be sweet. Oh, 
Oh, oh my god. Do we take Avalanche Riders to blow up land, or do we take Crucible of Worlds and strip mine them out of the game? Oh, it's so tough. I think I want the Riders just because it is a creature. And it, it's a red spell too. And Crucible is only good with Strip Mind. Alright, we got Firebolt back. Not bad. And then I got Devil's Play back. So mono red isn't as open as it normally is. Or right, we got, uh, like I don't know if we have enough one drops. I mean it's fine. We could just like bolt them to the face and play stone blood berserker. It's fine. I mean this this could be a deck for inferno titan, but. I think it's okay. And we got Hellrider back. That's awesome. Alright, Chaos Warp is fine against, like, fine sideboard option against certain decks. Uh, I'll take Wildfire. We're not playing it, but... Um, well, there's no black cards in here that we really want to play. There's no red cards that I really want to play either. Like, I don't know if I want to play sword in this deck. I mean, Seething Song does work decently well like we can do more stuff in one turn um with artifacts and stuff we could um you know we could devil's play for more i guess i don't know if i really like a rask i'll just take sword it might not even make the deck but all right and then there's this pack Braids would actually be really annoying to play against. I don't know if we have enough. I mean, Earthquake's a good burn spell to the face. Uh, we could take Braids. Oh, Braids is so annoying. I just don't know if we have the deck that can afford to play Braids. I'll just take Earthquake. Alright, Koth. Perfect. I, I hopefully we get the Chandra's Phoenix back. But yeah, Koth is perfect in a deck like this. Alright, um I think Serene Blaze is gonna be a bit better. The double red could be annoying, but we're not like overly creature heavy that Teetering Peaks is going to be good enough, so I'll just take Serene Blaze. Alright, Cargan, Cargan Dragon Lord's pretty good. Uh, it's good, good level up creature. Good two drop. I think I'm going to take it. Good cards in that pack though, holy balls. Gideon, Blight Steel. Yeah, we're probably not going to play Sword. Let's 
So red wasn't. I mean, red was obviously open, but it, it wasn't as open as it normally is. I mean, we still have ten picks, but. I would have liked to see a Blood Crypt. Alright, um, Hellspark Elemental is perfect. Just pushes through damage. Yeah, that's about it. This deck looks fun. I like that. I, I'm glad I took that vamp tutor up. It gives us two Valvier sulfuric vortexes. Um, let's see. Greg Gargadon can be good. Do I just want the hero? I don't. I, we're not like creature enough. I don't think. I'll just take the Gargadon. I might not even play it. I don't think I'm playing them either way. But who knows? All right. Well, I'm just gonna hate this sneak attack. A sneak attack is a card that can kill us. I think we can do some dirty stuff with Seaton Song. All right. Wooded Foothills is another way to just get a mountain. Or uh, get our uh, Badlands, so I'm going to take it. And we got Chandra's Phoenix back. Yeah, I think I want the Phoenix, because it's just, it, we can buy it back if they kill it. I guess we'll take the Peaks. I probably should have taken the, the Life Gain card. But I didn't see, like, any Goblin. All I saw was that one one drop. Didn't see a Goblin Guide or anything like that. I don't even know what Go Golem Vandal does. Oh, okay. The artifact removal. Alright. I like our lands, too. Man land, man denial, strip mine, tangle wire. With, yeah, this I like this. It's gonna be fun. All right, so let's see. So chain lightning, firebolt, stormblood, probably play smash. I don't know about goblin, more marshal. Nope, I don't want that. Stupid mouse. Alright, so this is our curve. I think Mox Diamond could probably be a land. But you kind of want, like, two lands and a Mox Diamond. Like, maybe we don't even need Mox Diamond. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to play Mox Diamond. Let's just run it like this. Oh wait, Vamp Tutor, whoops. Maybe we don't need Greater Gargadon. I think Zealous Conscripts is fine.
I don't know, do we really need like Devil's Play and Earthquake? Probably Devil's Play. I, I think we had, like, cause like Ball Lightning and Hellspark aren't really creatures to consider for swords, so we're really only running seven creatures. Okay, I'll just play Greater Gaganon. And we definitely want Strip Mine, Rashad and Port. Which is Factory, Teetering Peaks. It's that. I don't know why we're playing this fetch, but I want to. Just so we're drawing gas, right? So it gives us one, two, three sources of black. I don't know, since we're playing like Mistress Factory, Port, and Strip Mine, we're only playing 50 or 14 sources of red mana. Now, like, maybe we do want to play 18 land in this deck. I'm going to sideboard in Zealous Conscripts. And I'm going to play this Mox Diamond. And then, uh, so we'll still play 17 land, but Mox Diamond's kind of a land. Alright, so let's see. So that gives us, I don't know what's going on with this glitch here. So we have one, two, three sources of black, four sources of black. Let's do uh, two, seven. Let's do that. We want to make our vamp tutor consistent. This is fine. I like this. Let me know if you guys are doing anything different. We got, excuse me, we got some good sideboard cards like Chaos Warp, Zealous Conscripts, Light and Shadow. Uh, if this was like sort of fire and ice or sort of warm piece, I'd probably play it, but I think it's, I think it's okay. Uh, Berserker looks pretty bad in a deck with no one drops, but I mean, we could easily just like turn three, burn someone to the face with Firebolt or like Chain Lightning and play it, so it's fine. We can even play it after we've d done something else, right? So, and uh, Soft Yurk Vortex can also work with this, I think. Yeah, if your opponent was dealt damage this turn, so. We can play it after Sulfuric Vortex. So I like this. Seems pretty good. I don't know how much I want Gregor Dark Gargonon. Like maybe we want Zealous Conscripts instead. Yeah, I think there's enough <coughs> good creatures that Zealous Conscripts might be better than Gregor Gargonon. I'm going to go ahead and submit it like this. Alright, see you guys back for round one.